everybody. All right. Welcome to the Danny Academy 2023 All Abilities One Week Winter Animation Workshop. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so please remember all these rules to keep the class in a fun, positive, and supportive environment. And remember, have fun. I was walking outside with an m and bag. <laughs> There's something to show. Wait, hold on. There you go. Awesome. Okay. I love that. make your eraser bigger or smaller all you have to do is click on your touchpad click and hold on the touchpad slide up and down to change the size as you can see this is your for one of your first drawings which is really good you're just drawing the character with a pencil oops i didn't mean to do that hey nice job this nice is really job. good You can make any character. You could just turn the ball into Kirby, like what um, Sean did, or you can um, do a you could do a rabbit because it's the year of the rabbit. You see, you did excellent with the car um, going down. This looks good so far. He jumps out of the car as he lands on the pickup truck. Jacob. Good job. Good job, Jacob. And you can either do it one of two ways. You can either do it as like frame by frame, or you can do what I like to do as like a smear, a smear effect. All right, now this is what I was shown before stories going on here and I do stop motion and live action production for um, features as well as uh, commercials and short films super stoked to see what you guys make at the end of the week if you like working in and as an animator or a rigger a rigger is someone who physically attaches the, the puppets and make them easy to animate for the animator It was totally good. Did you like the class? Oh yeah. Yeah, they make some really bright, colorful animation, like according to the seasons. Well, yeah, I don't know how to explain that or say it because, like, I guess it just how it rolls. Like, I guess. Depends on the animation, but um, uh, I guess it likes. Yeah, it's kind of like the animation thing that makes it give out his uh, but cool. I really like it. I think it's really helped me to do something that I really like to do. Um, I, I love drawing, and I think this has expanded my comfort zone because I, I've i never done this before. And this was so new, and it it's really cool. Yes, it's very good. It was rough at the start, but I got used to it. The people who work with me are very good at what they do. Yes, that's what this whole thing is about. I guess we can go with the... the I really don't know. I guess the company? I, I can't really pick one. 
I was not prepared. I didn't really think about that while animating. I was kind of just doing that. And then kind of hold. It. So. Yeah. Like um, I think it's pretty good to experience things that we've never really experienced before and get to learn new things and face schools. Probably making the animations and talking to everybody. Um, I guess just trying to make the animations work and how many parts there are. It's like it's it's like animations are moving. It's like making a functioning car, but instead of a car, it's animation. That's so true. and animation have to have its every part. It's like a car. So if it's if one part is not working, then the and then and then and then and then the, and then, the, and then, the, and then the animation won't correctly work. It's like a car. I th I think. I like it. was good. Um, it was good. I like to see characters move. My animation, uh, I feel like it could be way better if I had enough time. Um, but I'm glad that I got all the motions pretty clear and you can tell what's going on. It's all sketchy and stuff, but it's very clear, I think. So I think it's turning out well and I like it. So, yeah. Yep. Yep, it's William. Not to scream and um, S H R I E K. My favorite it's SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob. Uh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. I have a lot of favorite animated characters, but one of them, one of them is probably Gossamer from Looney Tunes. I love him because he, everyone is so scared of him, but what, he, he's so underestimated. Everyone just expects him to be scary, but what if he doesn't want to be scary? Also, he is literally my favorite color. Which is like red. And you also mentioned earlier that your favorite video game character is Cortona from Halo. Yes, Cortana is... She's awesome. She can hack into basically anything in the game. Um, well, there's, if I had to, there's lots of different options, but if I had to pick at least three, I would say Spinel from the Steven Universe movie, Huey Freeman from the Boondocks, and, um, oh, it's and Gumball from the Amazing World of Gumball. Hilda, uh, from from where? It's a Netflix show. Oh, Hilda. it's from it's a Netflix show. Oh yes, Hilda, yeah. and it's also based upon the comic book series. I don't know how to comic book series. Yeah, Hilda was adapted from a comic book series. From, uh, it's also a British one. Oh, okay. I kind of knew it was British with more like British characters and the British scenes. It just felt British. My favorite anime character is probably Jigglypuff. So my favorite animation character from The Simpsons would have to be Homer Simpson or Bart Simpson. And my favorite actor from and my favorite actor is actually the person that actually designed The Simpsons. Is actually the person that designed The Simpsons. Actually has like a lot of voices in The Simpsons. And sometimes he actually appears in The Simpsons as a cartoon version of himself. And some famous people actually appear in The Simpsons. My favorite animated character is Garfield for many reasons. He's amazing, he's beautiful, he's godly in all aspects. Um, his mood yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. Just everything yeah. about him is so inspiring, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's what's so amazing about Garfield. He is a very iconic uh, character. One of the iconic cartoon characters of all time. Yeah, I look up to him. <laughs> He's a good guy. And best of all, he loves uh, lasagna. Loves lasagna. Mm -hmm. I don't, but I love it for him. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Whoever thinks about of a cat that loves lasagna? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty random. What type of 
<laughs> that's what you makes know. Garfield unique. Yeah, he's great. Sorry, he runs fast. SpongeBob SquarePants. Ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, good. Uh, we did it. <laughs> it not don't not only you made it Not only a great um, SpongeBob impression, but you also did a Patrick Star impression as well. SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What word? I can actually do a voice impression of Luigi. I can I can't wait to hear it. I cannot draw Oh yeah, Luigi time. Oh yeah, Luigi. <laughs> Riley, you got to understand that you got to respect women who they are. I right? That's my key Freeman voice. <laughs> oh yes, Freeman voice from the Boondocks. I think it would be I wear Luigi wear. No, that's not like Wario. Well, Luigi. Yes, well, Luigi. You know when well, Luigi, when he tries to win, he and then he loses. He says, "I hate this game." Right? <laughs> I wonder if he could do "I hate this game" in well, Luigi's voice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Perfect. Well, Luigi. <laughs> well, everyone's about to, I'm about to expose myself. Get ready. We have to be extremely quiet. I <laughs> <laughs> make a voice. I don't think I can actually make like a, a voice impression. I, oh. I, I don't really know much about voice acting honestly because i'm not really good at it so usually when i need it i just ask my friends to do it so yeah not <laughs> draw like a figure statue i don't know uh like i mean I don't know. Having all these uh, pictures in my head, what would it be like if my if my channel series become a like an animated TV series on like Disney Channel or Nickelodeon or something like that? Okay. I was thinking all top of uh versions of the of my sh how my show would go, like some kind of cartoon anime or uh, some uh, so some uh, like cartoon sitcom mixed with live action a cartoon uh action live action sitcom of jack stickman and other characters background i guess live people characters to uh, yeah that's that's how i wanted to go out i've been picturing my head for always like um i i wanted to have a soul balance i really don't think there was anything wrong with it. Um, if I were to try and think of something that could be improved, maybe it could be give like for not even on your end, on our end to have better supplies. It's it's really great and it's really informative. Take suggestions from what people like. If you realize what other people like, then maybe you could use that for some of your own work. Oh yes, that's because technically we because technically we are teaching you guys some new stuff as well. That's your work. Right. That's cool. You. Oh yes. You teach us stuff, and we teach you stuff. It's win win. Win win. Get more like drawing pads. <laughs> Drawing pads. Oh yes, some drawing pads. Maybe the workshop can provide drawing pads next time. I don't think there really is anything you guys have to do to make it better. I think it's a great way for children to learn how to make animations and create things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes flip a clips uh, the rules when it comes to free, like free flip a clip is kind of weird. And they didn't provide um, drawing pads for us, 
but other than that, um, it's really good. So you gotta be doing everything right. It's just <sighs> that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. I will. We just want to turn them on. I'm ready to make a better sign as it is. Would you like if they did anything different during this uh, class, this workshop? Yes. What would you like? How can they make it better for you? Yeah. This is looking kind of weird. Uh, hello, Reggie. Come on. Don't know, Russ. Okay. Would you like to do this again next year, this animation class? You did excellent, everyone, and I look forward to the next winter animation workshop. See you next year. <laughs>